Leviticus chapter 6. And Yah spoke to Moshe, saying, When any being sins and committed a trespass against Yah, and has lied to his neighbor about a deposit, or about a pledge, or about a robbery, or shall extort from his neighbor, or has found what was lost and has lied concerning it, or did fo swear falsely, so that he sins in regard to any one of all these that a man does, then it shall be, when he sins and shall be guilty, that he shall return what he took by robbery, or what he has extorted, or the deposit which was deposited with him, or the lost item which he found, or all that about which he swore falsely, he shall repay its total value, add one-fifth more to it, and give it to whom it belongs, on the day of his guilt offering. Then he brings his guilt offering to Yah, a ram, a perfect one, from the flock with the evaluation as a guilt offering to the priest. And the priest shall make atonement for him before Yah, and he shall be forgiven for whatever he did that made him guilty. And Yah spoke to Moshe, saying, Command Aharon and his son, saying, This is the Torah of the ascendant offering. This is the ascendant offering because it is burned on the slaughter place all night until morning. And the fire of the slaughter place is kept burning on it. And the priest shall put on his linen garment and put his linen trousers on his body and shall take up the ashes of the ascendant offering which the fire has consumed on the slaughter place and shall put them beside the slaughter place. And he shall take off his garments and put on other garments it shall bring the ashes outside the camp to a clean place. And the fire on the slaughter place is kept burning on it. It is not put out. And the priest shall burn wood on it every morning and arrange the ascendant offering on it. And shall burn on it the fat of the peace offerings. Fire is continually kept burning on the slaughter place. It is not put out. And this is the Torah of the grain offering. The sons of Aharon shall bring it before Yah in front of the slaughter place, and shall take from it with his hand from the fine flour of the grain offering, and from its oil, and all the frankincense which is on the grain offering, and shall burn it on the slaughter place for a sweet fragrance as its remembrance portion to Yah. Then Aharon and his sons eat the rest of it, it is eaten with unleavened bread in the set-apart place. They eat it in the courtyard of the tent of appointment. It is not baked with leaven. I have given it to them as their portion of my offerings made by fire. It is the most set-apart, like the sin offering and the guilt offering. All the males among the children of Aharon eat it, a law forever in your generations concerning the offerings made by fire to Yah. All that touches them is to be set apart. And Yah spoke to Moshe, saying, This is the offering of Aharon and his sons, which they bring near to Yah, beginning on the day when he is anointed, one-tenth of an afath of fine flour as a grain offering, half of it in the morning and half of it in the evening. It is made on a griddle with oil. Bring it in mixed, bring the baked portions of the grain offering near, a sweet fragrance to Yah. And the anointed priest from among his sons, who is in his place, prepares it, a law forever to Yah. All of it has to be burned. And every grain offering for the priest is completely burned, it is not eaten. And Yah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to Aharon and to his sons, saying, This is the Torah of the sin offering in the place where the ascendant offering is slain. The sin offering is slain before Yah, it is the most set apart. The priest who is making atonement eats it, in the set apart place it is eaten, in the courtyard of the tent of appointment. All that touches its flesh is to be set apart. And when its blood is sprinkled on any garment, you wash that on which it was sprinkled in the set apart place. But the earthen vessel in which it is cooked is to be broken. If it is cooked in a bronze pot, then it is scoured and rinsed in water. Every male among the priests eats it. It is the most set apart. And no sin offering from which any of the blood is brought into the tent of appointment to make atonement in the set apart place is eaten. 
it is burned with fire.